Hello, welcome to this next Substance Painter tutorial. Uh, in this one it's more of a tip really, or a trick. Uh, we're going to uh, create a mask and then create an outline from that mask to allow us to have three different materials. One on the outside, one on the border and one on the inside. Okay, so uh, we'll end up with something like this. So let's just go File and Open Sample discard that and open the preview sphere and we'll just get rid of all of these layers because we don't want them right so I'm going to start off with dragging the artificial leather from my materials over just to give me a start and then we'll create a new fill layer on top of that and right click and add a black mask and then to that black mask we'll add a fill layer <coughs> So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm using a fill layer uh, because I want quite a geometric pattern in this. And uh, we'll just pick one of these shapes down here, this, say this fabric. And I'll drag and drop that in. And then let's just take the scale down a little bit. Oops, I want it up a little bit rather. There we go, until I get a good size. Okay, so now I've got the ability to put this between two materials so I can select on this material go to my materials and pick another one so let's say plastic gloss but now actually what I want to do is outline this and do something else maybe change the height and the color um, so if I right click on here and duplicate the layers and then select the fabric and then right click and add filter then in our filters uh, library we have mask outline so I can drag and drop that into the filter and if I change the color on this we should see what's going on to so make it nice and contrasty okay so on the filter itself uh, we've got some options uh, default is outside or we could go inside uh, or we could do both uh, I'm going to go outside I think we can change the width of our outline to make it either you know wider or thinner um, and we can change the curve so the curve kind of basically puts a little gradient out from the uh, the outline and helps you kind of fill in the gaps if you like okay so we've got our three possibilities now so it's ever so straightforward to just simply change these materials out so let's make that one gold and let's make this one uh, silver do we have a silver we do have a silver it's down here somewhere will be in alphabetical order and therefore completely invisible to me there it is okay and on the silver I can turn the height on and I could raise it up or drop it down or do anything you want so there we have it we have a nice kind of uh, ornate pattern uh, with a nice outline change to you know do what we want it to do so you don't have to use it on patterns like this it's just easier to demonstrate on a pattern you can do it on any mask any black and white mask but the more detailed that mask is, the more um, kind of grainy and uncontrollable um, your pattern outline gets. Okay, so I hope you found that useful and I will talk to you again in another set.